Sam, we've always been close, haven't we? Yes, Jack. Well, until this all blows over, just stay away from me. God, yo, 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 that was cold-blooded, man. <laughs> oh, man. It, it just sucked because he tapped him on the shoulder. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Brazil for the very first time again. Another movie where I have absolutely no idea what this is about. Even the title is kind of throwing me off because I'm looking at what some of the screenshots to the film, you know, displaying like, you know, what type of genre it is and all that. It doesn't look like it's in Brazil. <laughs> in fact, it probably doesn't have anything to do with Brazil as of what I know of so far. Now, this is a Terry Gilliam film and from what I know of, this film was definitely recommended through our last Terry Gilliam film that we've watched, which was Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And you guys know how much I love that and how much of a crazy ride that one was. So if this is going to be anything quite like that, I'm probably going to have a good time. And I'm really excited to kind of jump into more of his films because there are films that I do recognize on here. I just haven't seen uh, or just watched for the first time, for, uh, like Front and Back, for example. I I haven't seen uh, the Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I haven't seen that one, heard of it, haven't seen it. Same thing with 12 Monkeys, haven't seen that either. So there, there, are, there are films that we can get to on this channel, which I'm really excited about that are made by some really incredible and talented uh, individuals who are unique in their storytelling, which is exciting. And I, it's one of the reasons why I love this YouTube channel because there's still so many films out there that are just waiting for, you know, just my eyes to be put on them and just you know to help me develop my own storytelling and just you know it's like i'm able to add on to things that can help build my storytelling and my way of creating a film and my way of just creating art and themes and i think it's just an, a win-win so a lot of people are like hey how come you never seen this for the first time and i'm just like i have it but i'm not complaining because i'm at a point to where now i can see these films and actually interpret them and digest them in a way that's almost like subconscious level now because i've been doing this for a long time and now i'm just like effectively learning and actually seeing the value to some of these films even if it's not even a good film so like you know there's a lot of things that can happen especially at this point that i'm excited about hence why this youtube channel as much as it's really helping you guys it's really helping me out as well too so there is always a win-win to things such as this especially when it comes to education so um yeah i'm really excited to kind of dive into this like always guys i know i'm not able to put uh everything on to youtube you guys understand why so again if you want to watch and hear everything that i have to say definitely check out the patreon the patreon is the best way to support this channel Channel as well as me but I get it patreon is sometimes out of the way you can still support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and you can also support the channel too by just chilling relaxing opening up your laptop or flicking on your TV going on YouTube popping on this video and just sitting back relax getting your favorite popcorn and snacks as we hop right into Brazil <laughs> All right, that's a way to start open your film. Oh my goodness. My man was just trying to sell some ducks. Some 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 ducks to have central AC. And he blew them up. Just can't stand seeing the other fellow win. If these people had just played a game, they'd get a lot more out of life. Nevertheless, well, that sounds terrible. That sounds like the government. <laughs> that sounds like the government. I told y'all, y'all are kind of weird, man. <laughs> y'all do some weird stuff. <laughs> People want value for money. And that's why we always insist on... The yep. We back at it with those crazy camera movements, man. Those crazy camera angles. God. His films, are just, they stand out so well because of that. His use of wide angles. <laughs> What the heck just happened? They just ran in there and what, what? Oh my God, what are they doing with them? Bro, that's dark. <laughs> that's pretty fucked up, man. 
That's terrible. She, they are they, they are handing this woman receipts to sign. And they don't even know what the heck's happening to her husband. Thank you. And this is my receipt for your receipt. <laughs> All right, that was Bottles? funny. Are you okay? He said, this is my receipt for your receipt. Bloody typical. They've gone back to metric without telling us. Mrs. Bottle, are you all right? Is she all right? They just, what type of question is that? In less than five minutes, they ran in on their Christmas night and just took their father. <laughs> Oh my God, there's so much paperwork. Jesus, I'm hating this. Ah, that vibe is just devoid of color. There's absolutely nothing there. There's no mirrors, no windows. Just a hive mind <laughs> doing paperwork. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be seeing this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be seeing homie flying through the clouds like that. Over here looking like Icarus. Whoever the dude was that flew to the sun. <laughs> it seems like this technology here is like unfortunately convenient. <laughs> and I say that because it may look convenient, but it's just... It's just unfortunate how it was made. <laughs> Everything is unfortunately convenient. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Wow. Sam, it's time for you to grow up and accept responsibility. Your poor father would be appalled at your lack of promotion. Oh my God, it's the homie. <laughs> it's the homie. Oh, from Hot Fuzz. Madam Lowry, you look exquisite today. Merry Christmas. Hello, Spyro. Merry Christmas. Sorry. Uh, she, yo, yo, that fashion game is crazy, yo. That's insane. She's wearing a... <laughs> she's wearing a giant hill as a hat. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. This society... This society is something else, man. Monsieur? Stay, please, rare. Mother. Monsieur Cal Numero. I don't know which number. Mother. That one. There. That's fine. Thanks. Mother. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. I mean, that's how I felt when I was a kid, though, when I had to order for myself. Why why is everybody why is everybody not freaking out, man? Why why is everybody just acting as if a bob did just blow up right next to them? People are dead. <laughs> of course you want something. You must have hopes, wishes, dreams. No, nothing. Not even dreams. <laughs> Cuts to him flying in the clouds. <laughs> that was brilliantly edited. That was really good. There's a lot going on in this film already. I'm I, just letting y'all know that right now. Like, I'm seeing a lot, but it's just happening so fast that I don't think I can commentate over it. So I'm just going to wait till, like, there's, like, a dying moment, and I'm just going to, like, see if I can put it together. <laughs> but there is a lot of relation I can see with, like, government and free will and control. We'd love to get their hands on Harry Tubman. <laughs> Are you telling me that this is illegal? Wait, is that is that who I think it is? I is that who I think? Oh my god, it is, dude. It's the dinero man. What the heck? I, I was not expecting to see him in this film either. That's really awesome. Light, get in, get out. Wherever there's trouble, a man alone. Now they got the whole country sectioned off. You can't make a move without a form. I love, I love that he's in this. I love that he's in this. It looks like he's having so much fun with this too. Oh, that just made me happy, man. I love that the heating and cooling guy is packing a pistol. 
<laughs> and he holds you up before fixing your heating and cooling issues, bro. Oh, man, that is hilarious, dude. That's great. God. Oh, you see all that smog and gas and... Uh, that's bad, fam. That's bad. That's really bad. There's literally just nuclear power plants everywhere. Um, it's a refund, actually. There was a mistake. Mistake. Oh, man, dude. Ah, oh, that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. That is rough. Damn. That place is in ruins after all, uh, after all they did. To make, I'd be, well, only too happy to send you the appropriate forms. What have you done with his body? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. This is... Ah! <laughs> well, they turn the lights out. Yo, this bus is so cool, man. That bus is cool. What? Ah, oh, damn. I'm so mad I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't think of that. That is actually really awesome. That was a really awesome design to that bus. Hmm. It's almost as if his dreams are, like, becoming more vivid and more alive. Especially when they're, you know, now it's to the point where he doesn't even have to sleep anymore. They're almost telling him, like, hey, man, you got to find your ambition. You got to freaking go after it these are what dreams are for dude that is actually giving me a crazy form of claustrophobia <laughs> that's insane from oh, out of your nostril eh? <laughs> central services my man's hat, bro. <laughs> My man's hat is killing me. <laughs> What's going on? Invitation. Don't you? Don't you, mother? Mother? Sam, I'm so glad. Oh God, dude. Yo, I just I don't even know what <laughs> what the heck, man. This is crazy. I think in a weird way, this is almost just as, if not a little bit more crazier than Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas because these people are, like, not real. <laughs> Everybody around him, unlike Fear and Loathing, are just as crazy. <laughs> so there's no, like, sense of, of, of reasonable state ever in this film because everyone is insane. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, his dreams are merging with reality. That's that's a, that's that's a little weird. <laughs> I don't think those are dreams anymore, man. I could be anybody. No, you couldn't, sir. This is information retrieval. The lifts arrive, sir. Wow, that line hits. He said I could be anybody, and the dude was like, No, you can't. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was like a deeper thing or whatnot, but to me, that that made me pick up on something. Like maybe he's trying to be something and it's just society is just doing its best to just not let him be. The only place that can allow him to be something is within his dreams when he's flying around in the clouds. <laughs> Cosplaying. <laughs> maybe he wants to be a cosplayer. Wow, man. What a cool way to be showing this, dude. It's just so cool. It's so different. I love that about this film. What the heck, man? Like I said, like it feels like society's just trying to like not allow him to just leave 
you know, and find himself. At least that's what I can interpret. This is the slowest elevator ever. Let this guy talk to her. No. No. I'm so freaking mad. No. Ah, oh, dog. Society is just cock blocking this guy so badly. That's stroke 105, and I'm arresting you. So drive on, or I'll blast your fucking head off. <laughs> This dude is going mad. He's like, I'm going to not leave this truck. I've worked too hard to get to this point for crying out loud. I'm going to stay in this truck. <laughs> That's terrific luck. Damn right. God. God, that hurts, bro. That hurts. Damn. She did him so dirty. <laughs> They're doing a great job at making a lot of these scenes claustrophobic. Like, the way these frames are being shot just does not allow a lot of open space. Like, there is no, no breathing. <laughs> it's just wires and metal and smoke and fire. It just, just, everything just looks so gray and disgusting. <laughs> Sam, actual terrorists. Actual terrorists? Yeah. I mean, it's crazy because he, like, a minute ago, a couple scenes ago... They blew up the inside of the restaurant and he just wasn't even like he didn't notice. He didn't notice at all. He was completely clueless. Like he didn't care. This looks so cool, man. <laughs> this looks so cool, bro. Just the amount of effort they put into the set designs is just beautiful to watch, man. Oh my god. So many people have died and exploded in a blazing fire. I say as someone walks out of that mess burning alive. <laughs> oh wow, he's actually a lot more emotive on the bomb explosion this time. That's great. That's good to know. Too bad it's only for the girl he likes. <laughs> well, there's literally everybody else just, you know, effed up beside him. Come on, make yourself easy. It's nice to see that he's caring, you know? Like, that doesn't happen. That didn't happen beforehand. I told you, this man's dream is his ambition. That man's dream is this key to get out. Bro, they made this, man. They made this. This is so visually psychotic, but also just one of a kind. This is a unique experiencing that I'm experiencing because I know for sure I'm never going to experience something like this again. Going on Us with your friends and relatives and high places. God, what a shot this is. That's a shot, bro. That is a wild shot right there. Sam, we've always been close, haven't we? Yes, Jack. Well, until this all blows over, just stay away from me. God, yo, yo, yo. That was cold blooded, man. <laughs> Oh, man. It just sucked because he tapped him on the shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me that jazz, bro. Dog. 
That jazz soundtrack, I can't wait to get it. <laughs> I can't wait to go on SoundCloud or Spotify, wherever that is, and just find it and be so happy with myself for the rest of my life. Hey, that's the homie. <laughs> yeah, this dude is fucking dope. <laughs> He's so dope. I'm just so happy that De Niro's playing him, man. Like, I think that's so cool. Like, that is so freaking cool, man. What the heck? Oh my god. No way. No way. God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. God, oh, that is disgusting. That's disgusting, bro. Dude, he is, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Do you see how he propels down there, too? Like, he's so cool. He is so cool. There's been a lot of movies that I've been watching where there's just this one side character doesn't even show up on a lot of the screen time but all they need is that one scene that just stamped them in the badass category he's one of them <laughs> do it do it do it <laughs> like fucking palpatine over here <laughs> That music was loud, bruh. <laughs> that, that music was loud. Care for a little necrophilia? Hmm? I'm going to be careful what I say there. <laughs> yes, I want to be happy for him, but that sentence was wild. <laughs> that was a wild sentence. <laughs> I am going to... That was a wild sentence. I get it, though. No! Oh my God! Bruh, what the fuck? What just happened? What is happening? We were so good. We were so good up until now. What the heck happened? Don't fight it, son. Confess quickly. I am so dead. I am so dead. I can't believe he just said that. I'm. <laughs> I gotta say, British humor is hilarious, man. Like, I I love British humor so much because it's things like that where I just, man, that's hilarious. Yo, if that's my boy, I'm going to be so happy. If that's who I think it is, I'm going to be so happy. I'm just telling y'all right now. My favorite AC mechanic. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so happy. F paperwork. That's the motto for this theme, uh, for this movie. This movie's theme is F paperwork. He was never real. He was never real. What's going on? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the Larry, so pleased you can make it right this way. Yeah, I'm tripping balls, y'all. <laughs> I'm I'm tripping balls. I'm tripping face right now. Oh my god. Oh man, this is this is crazy. I don't know what my brain is at. Oh, I'm having an aneurysm. 
<laughs> Yo, this this last section is just absolute madness. What? 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 Uh, 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 can I be happy? <laughs> Uh, can I be happy? Can I be sad? Is this for real? Like, is this for real happening now? <laughs> I'm hoping that this is for real. Alright, I think I can be happy, y'all. I can't. Fuck me. God damn it. I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm so pissed off, man. I'm so pissed off. Oh, my God. I, I figured that had to be the case because there was no way all of that was real. Damn. Yikes. <laughs> That's depressing. But as, at least he could find happiness in his head. Right? Right, guys? And then you hear people clapping in the background. Just, just, to, just to F you up some more. Guys, and that is the end to Brazil. <laughs> Man. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up Brazil. Guys, Terry Gilliam is, he, dude. <laughs> like, I, I thought, I thought, okay, we're gonna make it out alive. We're gonna make it out alive on this one because, you know, I, I went through Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. You know, that was a crazy ass movie. I can handle this, I could do this one. How is this even crazier? How? How did this out crazy the last crazy film, which I thought was the craziest film I've watched in a minute? Guys, again, like I said, like my my humor, you know, I, I, I can get into a lot of weird stuff. Like I watch Eric Andre Adult Swim. I grew up with Adult Swim, you know, like Tim and Eric. I, I know weird. I, I exist within the chaos of weirdness. When I tell you that I'm blown away by these films, man, <laughs> that should really mean something. And I wouldn't be surprised if Terry Gilliam is probably, you know, Eric Andre, Tim and Eric's like, you know, inspiration for a, a lot of the things that they do, because he's just able to create these narratives that are just they're, they're acid trips, man. Like, that's the only way I can describe them. And like. It, 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 like that was that was insane that whole last five minutes was pure insanity and i kind of figured it was not real but then that last part happened and i was like oh maybe and then those two showed up i was like all right yeah i i don't know when he got put into this maybe he i don't even know man i don't even know i'm gonna have to look up some more analytical videos about this but this was definitely a really fun watch for me personally i know this is probably a film I'm pretty sure this is what every Terry uh, Terry Gilliam's film that a lot of people are going to either like it, a lot of people are not going to get it, or some people are just going to hate it, you know, and I understand either, but for me personally, and I'm only going to speak for myself, I had a great time with this. Not only did I like this, I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was different. I thought it was absolutely just just bonkers balls to the wall just insanity but more importantly it was an experience and i think a lot of people forget that a lot of people forget that like i said there's only a few directors who i know that are able to just like know their craft enough to give you an experience you will probably never experience again that is pretty cool so i'm gonna leave y'all with that let me know what your thoughts about this film was in the comments below like always guys stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat